it's Sally. I'm here with ocean conservationist Jim Abernathy. Jim, welcome. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, Jim is known worldwide for his work in saving our oceans and saving our sharks. And um, you are doing a project with veterans, and it's very interesting because my company, Clear Channel, is also doing a project with veterans. We're encouraging businesses to hire veterans and then support those businesses that do. And you are doing a project that is helping veterans who have been wounded. And they not only get to help themselves, but they get to help the oceans and the sharks at the same time. It's called Operation Blue Pride. It's written right there on his shirt. And uh, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about that? Well, Operation Blue Pride is a, 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 an effort to try to empower veterans and our wounded warriors to look at our ocean issues by taking them out to sea and then fighting for those issues. And in turn, um, this helps save them. Uh, we discovered a couple of the most important things. One is that when they go underwater, they no longer feel pain. That's amazing because these guys live, you think, you know, after they've been healed that they're okay, but they still suffer a lot of pain. So when they go underwater, it frees them. Yes, That's and uh, it's, uh, I'm hopeful that we can get the world to watch this documentary so mm -hmm. that we can uh, inspire more wounded warriors to take up scuba diving to escape the pain in their life, right. as well as look at the ocean issues, which is so important because we're supposed to run out of fish in less than 35 years. That's very, very scary. Um, you were telling me, you know, a sixth of the world's population relies on ocean fish for their food. It's not like they can go to Publix and just pick up some fish at the, at the counter, right? Exactly. Yeah. So it's really important that we all get together now mm -hmm. and, and fight these ocean issues by choosing the right seafood to eat, renewable resources, mm -hmm. and um, we're going to bring all this out in this documentary, and we just need a little bit of help to, to finish the documentary. So you, you're spotlighting three veterans in this documentary, is that That's correct? That's correct. Okay. And it's, you're still putting it together, though. It's not a finished product. That's right. We have made the trailer, and we've looked at all the footage, and we're in the process of editing it right, right. now. Um, as uh, If you look at the trailer, I'm sure you'll see that uh, this is going to be a very moving documentary that's going to help veterans as well as help save our oceans mm -hmm. because we're going to address those issues. Now the veterans are, are amazing men, these men that you spotlighted. I've, I've seen them. There's one woman. As well, uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, the woman and the, two, and the two gentlemen. But there's also another star. I believe her name's Emma. That's right. <laughs> uh, we were very fortunate to have a, a superstar tiger shark, a 14 foot tiger shark uh, show up on the on the scene which we all prayed for and uh, you know, everyone thinks it's scary, but uh, this is a, like a big Labrador retriever. And, uh, <laughs> Almost like a big <laughs> Well, watch the trailer, and you'll see what I mean. It, it's, yeah. She's amazing. Okay, so um, folks who are watching this, what can they do? Uh, do you have a website? And let them know where they can see some of the stuff that I've, I've viewed. Um, OperationBluePride.com, which mm -hmm. is on your blog. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to that site, and then uh, we have a Kickstarter platform to help us fundraise the rest of the... Uh, production and um, I'm sure if they watch that they'll be inspired but most importantly share it with your friends right. especially those that have veterans wounded warriors because those are the people that can really make a difference in their life well go to that website I'll have it written down too just in case your memory's like mine and you can't remember anything um, but Jim it's always nice to see you thanks so much for all the wonderful work you do thank you very much for having me here